Hi, I'm Carrick James, a professional travel photographer here today in the Arizona desert to talk about choosing lenses for DSLR photography. Choosing a lens can be somewhat confusing, especially with thousands available to select from. Not every photographer needs every lens, but there is a lens for every photographer, perspective, and creative intention. We'll talk about the various types of lenses and their characteristics and strengths in order to choose the right tool for the project and variables at hand. The first lens category I'll talk about is wide angle. Wide angle lenses are used simply to fit more in. A wide angle lens will make the perspective wider and allow more of the scene to be included, offering a more complete view of a landscape, panoramas, or even buildings and architecture. Focal lengths under 35 millimeters are considered to be wide angle. The focal length of a lens determines how much magnification it provides and is usually measured in millimeters. A lens with a shorter focal length will be able to see a wider view of a subject than can a lens with a longer focal length, which would see a narrower view of the scene, but at a higher level of magnification. So a shorter focal length like the Pentax DA 21mm f3.2 lens will have a wider angle of view and more of the background will fit into the image. These wide angle lenses can also help you out when you may not be able to move farther away from the subject to photograph it, like when you're in a tight canyon or in an alley. Also in this category are ultra wide angle lenses. Ultra wide angle lenses are lenses under 20 millimeter and offer an even more expanded angle of view. For example, the Pentax DA 15 millimeter f4 is an ultra wide lens. So is the Pentax DA 14 millimeter f2.8. These ultra wide lenses are wonderful for interior rooms, landscapes, and large groups. Wide angle lenses that accentuate distortion are called fisheye lenses as they produce a circular effect. The Pentax DA 10 to 17 millimeter f3.5 to 4.5 fisheye is a creative lens that offers a play on the human perspective. This lens offers a near 180 degree angle of view, allowing for some truly artistic compositions. Now let's talk about the next category of lenses, normal lenses. The focal length of normal lenses ranges from 35 to 50 millimeters. We call them normal lenses because the field of view and the images they render are very similar to the angle of view the human eye sees. The Pentax DA 35mm f2.4 is similar to what the eye sees and an excellent prime lens for shooting still life and everyday images. You just heard me call this lens a prime lens. Prime lenses are lenses with a specific fixed focal length, like the 21, 15, 14, and the 35 millimeter lens we just talked about. Prime lenses tend to be lighter than zooms, better in low light, and really, really good at doing their specific job imaging that particular focal length. A zoom lens, however, will allow the photographer to change focal lengths without changing the lens or camera position. This zoom capability may add to the size and the cost of a lens, but will add far more flexibility while shooting. For example, the Pentax DA 18 to 55 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6 is a wide angle to normal zoom lens. It is extremely versatile as it can capture everything from 18 to 55 millimeters. The last major category of lenses we'll talk about are telephoto lenses. A telephoto lens will allow a photographer to take photographs at a distance from their subject. They have focal lengths longer than 50 millimeters. The longer the focal length, the greater the magnification, and thus more detail can be seen at distance. A short telephoto, like the Pentax FA 77mm F8, is going to be a wonderful portrait lens, especially in low light. Medium telephoto lenses range from 100 to 300 millimeters and are excellent sports, wildlife, and action lenses. Two of these lenses I go to are the Pentax DA Star 200mm f2.8 and the Pentax DA Star 300mm f4. With a telephoto lens, a certain amount of visual compression will occur as the foreground, midground, and background appear closer together. This is the opposite of what we talked about with wide angle lenses. Telephoto lenses make the background appear larger and closer to foreground subjects.
before we go, let's have a look at the capability of certain lenses to bring you up close and personal to your subjects, but in a different way, macro. The macro lens is going to offer another creative perspective as it will allow you to come physically very close to a subject while maintaining sharp focus, which renders every detail. The Pentax FA Macro 100mm f2.8 is an amazing lens for capturing extreme close-ups of insects, flowers, wildlife, and still life. As you can see, there are many varieties of lenses available today, allowing for almost infinite possibilities in framing and capturing images. I encourage you to play with as many lenses as you can, and I'm sure you will quickly find some favorites. No matter where your creativity takes you, Pentax has a lens that matches your vision.